Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 4 programming assignment of the course Programming Data Structures and Algorithm using Python. I already uploaded the week 4 quiz in this channel. I will give the link in my description so please go and watch. Now here in this programming assignment we have to write two Python functions as specified below. Okay. Now then we have to compile and run. So before watching this video, subscribe my channel. I will provide all the assignment answers of this course in this channel. So please do subscribe. Now in the first function, we have a list of annual rainfall recordings of cities. Each element in the list is of the form of C, R, where C is the city and R is the annual rainfall of a particular year. So by the example, we will understand it better. That means we have to write one function that is rain average, which will uh, calculate the average of the rainfall. Suppose here you see uh, there is different cities name that is Bombay, Madras, again Bombay, then Bangalore, Madras. Okay. Now uh, for Bombay, there is two data given. One is 848, one is 923. So the average will be 885.5 average rainfall which is calculated for Bombay. Now for Madras, the average rainfall is 103 plus 128 by 2. We will get 115.5 and for Bangalore, there is just only the single information of the rainfall. Now 201 will be the output. Now in this case, uh, for 1, the value is 2. 3 and 1 so the average will be 2 plus 3 plus 1 that is 6 by 3 so 2.0 now for 2 uh, there is only one data that is 3 so 3 is uh, there now uh, for 3 there is only one data again so 8.0 is there but th so that's the function we have to write now so that's the function we have to write now in the uh, second function, a list in Python uh, can contain nested list. Now the degree of the nesting need not be uniform. For instance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is a valid Python list. Write a Python function flatten that takes one uh, non-empty list and returns a simple list of all the elements in the nested list. Okay? Now from the example we can understand it better. That is uh, we have to write one function that is flatten and it will take a list and it will give a list which is uh, not included flatten uh, we have to write a function flatten it will return one list now we know that list means uh, the element inside the third bracket or the square bracket in case of python now here what happened in inside the square bracket there is one two three four five six so this element we have to return and we should not remove this first bracket why because inside the first bracket whatever element represent there is not a list that means uh, this is not a list the total thing is a list because it is inside the third bracket or the square bracket now for this case uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, so this total data that means 1 2 3 four five six inside the bracket all are the list that because uh, it is inside one third bracket but we have to remove each square bracket which is they are inside one list why because this is one individual list that means three is one individual list four comma uh, list five six it's another list now five comma six is another list so we have to remove those third brackets or square brackets and we have to return the, the list now uh, two function I write this is the function define rain average rainfall data equal to curly brace uh, for city so this is the function okay now after writing this function we have to click this compile and run now when you will come here you will see that the, all the test cases 6 by 6 is passed 
now you have to submit the code so the code is submitted okay thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video we will see in the next video